Hello friends. Today I am going to tell you another story of Panchatantra. Today's story is titled Bamber and the Mosquito. Once upon a time, there was a king. In the rest room of the king resided a bed bug underneath the mattress. The bed bug used to suck blood from king's feet every time the king fell into deep sleep. The bed bug adored sucking the blood of the king. as he found it tasty within a few days only bedbug got bulky as sucking king's blood on daily basis one day the window of the king's rest room was left open soon a mosquito entered through the window into the rest room when the bedbug heard the hovering of the mosquito he came out of his shed the bedbug said to the mosquito who are you how dare you enter this place The mosquito replies in a startling manner, "You don't know me. Well, no problem. I am a mosquito. I have entered this place through the open window. Anything else you want to ask?" "Don't you know? This is the restroom of the king. Everyone needs to take permission before entering this place." "Ha! Huh. I don't need anybody's permission to go anywhere. I am an innocent mosquito. I travel to and fro without any authorization understood on getting an appropriate answer from mosquito the bad bug agitated for a while then he said to the mosquito in a restrained manner you may not require animals permission to hover around but listen to me carefully you cannot take shed in this rest room without my authority now get out of here why can't i take shed here look at you you are in such good health by sucking king's blood and here i am with zero figure let me also be healthy like you after all a brother in need is a brother indeed the mosquito begin to laugh ha 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 go away have you ever looked at yourself you punk you are going to get both of us killed what do you mean to say do we need to make special preparations for sucking king's blood Stupid mosquito! We need to stay extremely cautious while sucking his blood. The king must be stung only when he is in deep sleep. Is that so? Wow! You have great experience. The bed bug flaunts. No doubt. Let me tell you one thing more. The king must be stung only underneath his feet so that he doesn't wake up. This is how one patiently needs to suck blood all night. Amaze the mosquito replies Really friend Yes when the king wakes up he shifts his position this is when one has to take shit Also awesome, my friend you have told me a great way to suck his blood so nice of you What are you trying to convey the bed bug says shockingly Aren't you planning on sucking king's blood There is no benefit in arguing with each other I am not going to reside here forever. Just allow me to suck King's blood for tonight. When I am done sucking his blood, I will go away on my own. The bad bug considered what mosquito said. Then after some time, he said, "Okay, but remember to follow the same steps I told you, else both of us will be in deep trouble." All right. I am going to suck his blood the way you told me. Bedbug and mosquito then wait for king's arrival. When the king entered his room and lies in the bed, the mosquito got excited to suck his blood. Excitement of the mosquito escalated so much that he didn't even wait for the king to go in deep sleep. The mosquito got out of the shed and stung the king in the back of his hand. The king woke up anxiously and said in a loud voice, Guards, come here quickly. There is some insect in my bed. Find it and kill it. The guards came hurriedly and began to find the insect. They found the bad bug lying under the mattresses. The bad bug died a horrible death. The mosquito saved himself and flew away from the open window. This way, the bad bug lost his life by trusting the mosquito. Moral of the story: We must never trust strangers. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, 
make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.